Hello. I'm just waiting for Mum Ra to come round. I've got the day off today from work. I had a couple of days annual leave I had to use up. And um, we're going to be doing something very exciting today. We're going wombling to Red Ruth. Wombling is what most people call, oh here she is, here she is, she's coming. She's coming down the gate. It's what most people call charity shopping, charity shop shopping or thrifting. And we, oh, <laughs> Um, we are going to find some Bobby Dazzlers. Okay, keep you updated later. Before we go, here's me clumsily modelling my latest Chazza find. <laughs> An ace and jig dress. Made in India by artisan weavers. They retail at around £360 new. It cost me £10. On to today's road trip. As we come up and over, we can see right over to the north coast that white dome in the distance is the RAF base at Port Reith. and beyond that you can see just about see a strip of Atlantic Ocean Oop, a bit of a bump in the road when I was filming this by the way I do not film and drive a welcome to Red Ruth sign to appease the charity shops, I brought with me two bags to donate, one full of jumpers, one with bric a -bac, brac one in, two out, that's the way to declutter and have fun. We headed off first of all actually to an industrial estate on the outskirts, then to a charity shop down the road that we wouldn't have known about without a tip off. There's Cambrai Hillside. So here I dropped off my bags and had a quick look around. Um, but I didn't find anything in this one. I thought it was a bit pricey actually. There it is over there hiding. Um, onwards to Miss Molly's, a quintessentially English antiques and tea room. And just inside the entrance, we were greeted with an amazing foot bellow organ that had been owned by a local lady from her being a teenager to the age of 95. It was a bit early for lunch, but I couldn't resist having a little <laughs> nosy at the cakes and there was a gorgeous log fire burning in there. It was so toasty. This place is a bit of a warren actually, and I actually lost Mumra at one point and had to send a search party out for her. Here we are heading back towards Red Ruth Town, approaching 4th Street, the main pedestrianised high street. We can spot the handsome clock tower, built in 1828. Of course, Mum couldn't resist having a nosy at the glass in the window. And here's a map and we can see path that we're going to take, we're going to walk along 4th Street to higher 4th Street. How cute are these knitted walking sticks? This is a men's shop. I just love the way these moth holes had been fixed on that jumper. The Tinner's Hounds, cast in bronze using miner's boots found at Giva Mine. This was about the fourth or fifth charity shop that we visited. I had a quick nosy at the vintage fabric offcuts, but I decided against it as I have a very big stash at home that I must use up first. This shop has relocated from across the road. The old building is being done up as part of the Red Ruth Heritage Regeneration Project. A quick nosy at the bric-a-brac. the top of 4th Street after a nice cafe stop, it was time to head home. So time for show and tell, this is what I got from Red Ruth. Got these gorgeous um, cotton, pure cotton trousers, originally from Next, um, just for one pound. That would be lovely for the summer, look at those. 
I don't care if they are pyjama bottoms, I'm not sure, but I'm going to wear those in the summer. Look at that beautiful, look at that beautiful ribbon trim. Really pretty. I love the colours on those. And also, for one pound, this gorgeous floaty skirt. Look at that. It's got a silky feel to it. It feels really luxurious. And for the kids, two for one pound. It's beautiful. Pure cotton. M&S top. Oh, I could, I could do with that in my size. That's going to be beautiful for the summer. It's so cool and comfy. And, again, why do, not, why do they not do these in adult sizes? A rainbow tutu. One more find that I wanted to show you. A pop-up 3D book for one pound. Botticelli's Bed and Breakfast. This is such good fun. It's an art lover's book. It's got look, all these famous paintings on the walls. Nude and clothed. A secret bookcase here, hidden, hidden door that lists all the artwork that you can find. There's Mrs. Whistler there. I can spot stubs on the wall. Who's in the shower? Of course, Venus is in the shower. And there's Michelangelo's David sporting some rather snazzy shorts. Is the loo stinky? Hmm? No. Monet's been here with his water lilies. Oh, I love this. This is so Harry Potter-esque. Of course, it's very hard to do it with one hand, but you slide that and you get the intact head and then the uh, decapitated head and a very old painting Flemish painting that I've actually seen in the Na National Portrait Gallery in London the Arnolfini marriage dating back to 1434 he's looking very serious there well, I don't know about you, but after that, I need a nice copper in the garden. Thanks for joining me and catch you soon.